for today's video, we are going to talk about chocolate and acne, one of my favorite things and one of my least favorite things. By the end of this video, you will know a bit more about whether or not chocolate causes acne, what the research actually says, and a little bit about why this could be happening or not happening, depending on the mechanisms of both your skin and food. And I am coming to you with no makeup today. As many of you know, in the past, my skin was anything but perfect, and I believe that diet was one of the biggest factors in clearing my own acne and my own skin. So let's dive in a little bit deeper into chocolate, cacao, acne, oil, sugar, and your skin. And this video was actually prompted from a video by Dr. Greger of nutritionfacts.org. He just posted a video called Does Chocolate Cause Acne that I believe is the best video to date explaining the science and the studies behind this phenomenon and explaining whether or not your skin is affected by chocolate. I will link his video below and I highly recommend you check him out. He is one of the best nutrition sources on the internet because he's not biased. So if you have questions about food, about weight, about supplements, about superfoods, he doesn't give you answers, he gives you the facts which contain the answers. Um, so highly recommended and a big thanks to him for kind of prompting this question in my own mind. So first, let's discuss the history of this. Back in the early 1900s, a lot of doctors and physicians were actually telling people that certain foods may cause acne. Now this included different things like pickles, but it also included things such as dairy, which for me was a huge cause of my acne. Now I wanna reference something really quickly out of this book. This is a book that I've read as a consumer. As you can see, it's very old. I've also read books as a student who is trying to become a dermatologist, but this book I wanted to source because it was written about 10 years ago and it does have a segment on whether or not food can cause acne. Now it does point out dairy and even beef, but not the mechanisms of action. Mechanisms of action basically means how it happens. But it does point out chocolate, saying that chocolate was not a cause of acne due to a study. Well, I kind of took that as true and I had looked at that study and thought it was true. Didn't look at the study and see who sponsored it. The nutritionfacts.org video featured the exact same study, but showed who it was sponsored by. It was sponsored by the chocolate industry, and a regular bar of chocolate was put up against an even worse bar of chocolate. This, I guess, is a common phenomenon in the medical publishing industry, where companies uh, who are trying to push their product will put their product up against something that is way worse. So that that way, when the results come out, they can say, oh, our product is better. Look, it's safe. It's healthy. It's so good for you. As compared to what? Something they created that was 10 times worse worse? Well, apparently that's what happened with chocolate. This happened back in the 60s. The medical community bought it and this book bought it, including myself. Now back to that video that I filmed five years ago. In that video, I really spoke about sugar and about insulin and how your hormones are related to insulin and your androgens and how those could cause acne. And in today's video, I want to go a little bit deeper into that as well. First off, let's break down what makes up chocolate. There's different kinds of chocolate, such as white chocolate, dark chocolate, chocolate with nuts in it, etc. But most chocolate actually has a base of cocoa or cacao, which is actually a very bitter bean. Now this is extraordinarily high in antioxidants and actually has some great levels of protein as well. Even though I have cleared my skin, I still eat cacao and chocolate is still one of my favorite things. And I have a vegan chocolate protein smoothie about twice a week for breakfast. So I just wanna put that out there. But along with this cacao, usually what's contained in chocolate is milk. This could be skim milk, this could be whole fat milk. There is usually also some sort of fat source, which could be oil or it could be butter. And there is also an added form of sugar, usually not a natural one. And even if it is a natural one, that can be sucrose, glucose, or fructose. And it's normally the added table sugar, which isn't as healthy for you. Now, if we're gonna ask if chocolate causes acne, we have to look at each one of these ingredients and see how they affect the skin. I have done a little bit of digging, and what's hard is that I have not really been able to find a paper that shows whether or not cacao, the actual raw bitter cacao has an effect on acne. When you look at it, it does have antioxidants, which we know are good for the skin, and it does have protein, which should be good for the skin, and I personally don't see anything in there that raises a red flag. Now, if you have an allergy, of course, that could be an issue. Then again, I'm not a dermatologist yet, and I am not a dietitian, so I am readily awaiting some dietitian, nutritionist, some professional, or Dr. Greger to come in and show me a paper on that. Now, the second thing we have to look at is the milk. As you know, I have done a lot of research on dairy and causes of acne, and there are many papers published, both funded
funded by the dairy industry and independent papers that talk about how dairy could affect acne. For me, dairy was huge, and there could be different mechanisms of action as to why dairy could cause acne. Some people believe it's the hormones in the dairy. Animals have hormones. A cow has to be pregnant in order to lactate. So does a human. If you want to produce milk, you gotta be preggers or you have to have a small baby. And maybe some of those hormones are getting into the milk and into your chocolate. Milk usually also contains whey or cesium. Those are both protein supplements that we see a lot of athletes using. And there was actually a study that Dr. Greger mentioned where they gave athletes these supplements and then took them away and they saw a reduction in acne. There's also a guy online here who does a lot of fitness and he talks a lot about his experience with whey protein and acne. He had acne that was just He's also got a great channel if you're struggling with acne and you're kind of the fitness type. Both whey and cesium do have the potential to cause acne in people. This could be by hormonal mechanisms or they could act as a carrier for different hormones. A carrier basically means like a messenger or a transporter, which can cause more oil production or more inflammation in the skin. There have been studies that link dairy to inflammation, specifically IL-1, interleukin-1, which is uh, an inflammatory particle. And we know that acne is based on oil oil, bacteria, and inflammation. So that could be a cause. In addition, milk does have lactose. Lactose is the sugar that's naturally found in dairy. And unfortunately, the majority of the population is actually somewhat lactose intolerant. You may not get hives and have to go to the hospital and have an allergic reaction if you have dairy, but most of the population has a small intolerance to dairy that could manifest in anything like a stomach upset to breakouts on the skin. Lastly, let's look at the sugar. Now, because the sugar in chocolate is usually table sugar, this could be something. What happens when we ingest sugar? Now, if that sugar is a processed sugar, such as sucrose, that raises our insulin levels. If something has a high glycemic index, meaning it is not fructose, it is processed in our bodies and raises our blood sugar level. Certain things that are high in fructose, such as fruits, do not actually raise your blood sugar the same because they're processed by the liver. But that's a totally different topic of conversation. When we talk about sucrose or glucose, the two types of sugar that actually raise your body's blood sugar levels. Those raise your insulin levels. Insulin is basically like the messenger key. It's a hormone that allows your body to store that sugar for energy later on. Think about it like a lock and a key to open a door and let you store that sugar. Now, unfortunately, both high levels of blood sugar and a high insulin spike have had correlations to higher androgen levels. As your pancreas releases that insulin, your androgen levels can spike too. Your androgens are hormones that are created by other glands in your body, and these are directly related to testosterone, to estrogen, and a lot of these balancing hormones or sex hormones, which make your body function properly or can wreak havoc on your skin. Androgens are also found with stressful situations. Sometimes you'll have an adrenaline androgen cortisol response if you're in a stressed situation or if you're under chronic stress. And there have been studies that link stress to acne. So this sugar that you eat that raises your blood sugar and your insulin levels could cause a change in your overall hormone balance, which includes androgens, which could cause an effect in your skin, meaning more oil, less exfoliation of your skin naturally, a better breeding ground for bacteria, and more inflammation overall that your body has to fight. Lastly, I wanna talk about my personal experience. I have been a chocoholic for years, since I came out of the womb, and I have have been an acne sufferer for 15 years. And even though I have cleared my skin by taking care of my diet, my skincare, and my stress levels, I still get breakouts every now and then. And I know you can see them because I certainly can as well. <laughs> but when it comes down to it, I always try to eat dark chocolate. As someone who's personally vegan, I do not consume products that have milk or dairy, so no milk chocolate or no white chocolate. But dark chocolate has always been something that I loved. And if you told me that I had to cut that out of my diet, um, I just, don't think I would be such a happy person in life. <laughs> now what's interesting is that if chocolate really was the cause of my acne, then regardless of whether or not I cut out dairy, I should have still had severe chronic cystic acne if I was still eating chocolate. Now the truth is, I eat dark chocolate and I have not noticed a negative impact on my skin. Sometimes that has additional sugars in it. I do notice that if I eat very high glycemic foods, such as processed muffins, processed vegan cakes or pastries, I do notice that number one, my under eyes get puffy, number two, I feel puffy, and then number three, 
three, my skin sometimes reacts to that. But by eating chocolate, I have never seen a direct link to my acne. And like I said, the biggest thing for me was cutting out dairy. Now, if I all of a sudden started eating a bunch of milk chocolate, would I see a difference in my skin? It's very possible. But also, I'm pretty happy with the fact that my skin is glowing and that I only have a couple little breakouts, and so, I'm gonna keep it that way. I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about acne, about your skin, about chocolate, about food, and whether or not chocolate actually causes acne. I'm going to leave a bunch of references down below that Dr. Greger mentioned in his video, and I'm gonna post his there as well. Again, I highly recommend you check out his channel, not only for this video, but for the other videos he posts on health topics as well. He is honestly probably my most trusted source of nutrition facts and research because he just gives you the studies right there as it is. If you have other questions about acne or about skin, you know that I love talking about this stuff. It's what I spend my Friday nights looking up on the internet and in textbooks. I don't watch movies with my friends on weekends. I'm literally that nerd in the library. But you know what? Instead of being embarrassed about it, I'm gonna be proud about it because Overall, it's what helped me clear my skin. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I cannot wait to read your comments and see if chocolate has had an effect on your acne or what other acne questions you have. If you liked this video, be sure to let me know. And of course, I can't wait to see you all in the next one. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.